If you walk by booth number 425, we were full axed by some of the most beautiful wooden rocking chairs and Windsor chairs we've ever seen. It is Bill Peck and his Windsor rockers and stools. Welcome to the Close Line Art Festival broadcast Thank you. Um, so, first off, these are the most amazing pieces of ergonomics. How did you uh, work this out? Every single person who sits in the chair from any age does the same thing. When they sit down in your rocking chair, they go, oh. So how did you get this fabulous ergonomic shape worked that out? Well, this is actually a chair that's called the Maloof style. style. Uh, it's owned by the name of Sam Maloof. Passed away recently in California, actually. Originated this design. It's really, it's really different, but the, the drawing you can see in the back is very similar to what the Maloof fits. The back braces are all bent laminations that are, they have, they have a curve in it, as you can see, that supports the small on your back, and the, the mortises that they sit in are oval shaped so that they can move or float in the mortises. So the back braces actually mold themselves to your back. That's why they're so comfortable. And I noticed that in the seat of the chair, there are cut-ins for the legs. Right. So it doesn't pinch the back of your legs. The seat is saddled so that it's uh, more conforms to the human shape. There's a, you know, a lot of wooden chairs have flat seats or nearly flat seats. And you can only sit on those so long before you need a cushion. You also make Windsor chairs as well. How, how did you go into that? How did you get to that? I actually started making Windsor chairs about 10 years ago. I went to a school in New Hampshire, a place called the Windsor Institute. And I just kind of happened onto that. I saw an article in the Wall Street Journal actually about it, and I went to it, and I was hooked. 